A uh, pleasant good afternoon, soon to be evening here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. 25 minutes away until the Thursday opener, 555, eight races to beat a fast as always, a couple of carryovers. Third race, the 20Z single six jackpot in excess of $23,000. Super high five carryover in the nightcap, a little shy of 24 Gs. I'm your track announcer, Tony Kalo. Let's open up our programs. Here are the changes. Nothing to report in the opener. Race one is clear of change. As always, race one will start the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Pretty good start for all English. Charm breaks alertly, but she doesn't want the lead. That will belong to Skylerville. Rock the Nile is also forwardly positioned. She races inside of Lucky Jour. Skylerville making the pace to the seven eights. It is Skylerville with the lead into the second spot. Rock the Nile. Here's Blue Neath into third. English Charm broke alertly. She likes to run from off the pace. She's fourth along the inside, about eight lengths or so, maybe even more to Skylerville, who's going pretty good up front. After English Charm races Lucky Shore. Caribbean Knight from the inside, Celestial Spin, three deep. Here's the favorite, Cubon, second last, and she has almost five lengths on two crowded at the back. They race up the Turfway Park backstretch, and it is Skylerville who has built this huge lead. Skylerville with a big, big lead up the backstretch run. Rock Denial is second, Blue Knee third, then English Charm. There goes Celestial Spin, making a bit into the fifth spot. Caribbean Knight is sixth. Lucky Shore gives way just a bit. Cubond has a lot of work to do arriving at the 3 8 A good 10 lengths from the front. As you can see, Skylerville stride is noticeably shortening. Here's English Charm into the second spot. English Charm coming after Skylerville. Skylerville's leg weary. Here they come, ready or not. Here's English Charm. English Charm tackles the leader and goes right on by. English Charm past the 3 16 Caribbean Knight second, then Celestial Spin. Cubon makes a move for third. How about English Charm? She's going good these days. English Charm. She likes the tapita here at Turfway Park. English Charm at four to one. Caribbean Knight with second. Then Cubon, Celestial Spin checked in fourth for the Superfecta. How about our dynamic duo? Caitlin Free and Scott Shapiro. They're on the board early with a four to one winner. English Charm. English Charms had a pretty good 2024 here at Turfway Park. She's really taken a liking to the tapita surface. You can see she was in a beautiful spot up the backstretch and into that far turn run. You can see Skylerville was coming to a walk and English Charm was waiting on deck and she just blew right by that rival. And it is two English Charm, the unofficial winner. Second place one Caribbean Knight, third place six Cubon, fourth place nine Celestial Spin. 2169, unofficially in the Thursday opener. English Charm, two in a row and three out of four. A four year old Ray Aron Philly by English Channel out of the Scat Daddy Mare, Linda. By Tim Gorassi, along with Doug Collier. Jamie Grubbs, the winning uh, trainer, winning jockey, Germain Terraza. English Charm was bred in Kentucky by Witham Thoroughbreds, LLC. Back to $48.50, a trifecta $55.60, 10 cents super $57.13. And I believe that dollar super $571.30. Second race will begin the early pick four. One and three both scratch. Wahatchee and Elm Street. One and three out of race two. It will start the early pick four. And there they go, Boathouse away a little slowly, slight stutter step out of the starting gate. Tino begins the best, pace pressure comes from all about tonight. Favorite Haunt will set up shop from third. Just Gus from the inside, Vino Caldo to his outside, and Boathouse had that awkward start. He is the last of all, he's a little wide into that clubhouse turn. Now he looks to maneuver over before entering the backstretch run. With the lead, Tino and All About Tonight, and they both try to slow it down. Favorite Haunt third. Vino Caldo gets a wide journey. Just Gus gets to save ground. Now Boathouse Boat is at the back of the pack towards the inside. A little more than five lengths covers the six pack. Past the 5 eights, Tino with the lead. All About Tonight from his flank in second. Just Gus gets a little closer up the inside. Favorite Haunt in the clear, biding his time. Likewise for Vino Caldo in the two path. Three off the lead. Boathouse still five lengths from the front. Tino 
and all about tonight. They have tried to slow it down to the best of their abilities. 24 and 3, 50 seconds, soft flow for Tino and all about tonight. Favorite Haunt asked for his run. Vino Caldo tries to pick up his stride. Just Gus is a little even paced. Boathouse has work to do. He's still at the back marker. All about tonight comes away with the lead. All about tonight off the third. Favorite Haunt makes a move for second. Tino tries to fight on from the inside. Boathouse is picking up his stride in behind the leading three. Where is he going to go? Boathouse now trying to tip one from the outside. Vino Caldo further out. Favorite haunt all about tonight. Boathouse third. Vino Caldo in deep stretch and up goes favorite haunt. Favorite haunt and Sonny Leone on their way to the winner's circle. Boathouse had that trouble trip. All about tonight third with Vino Caldo to his outside. Favorite Haunt is the unofficial winner, two to one. Well respected from a wagering standpoint, covering the distance in 139 and 88 one hundreds. Got a clear stocking trip. Favorite Haunt was just biding his time. And he came a calling in deep stretch and gains the victory. Eight Boathouse had that trouble trip. Stutter step out of the starting gate behind leaders turning into the lane. Six all about tonight, third, fourth place, seven at Vino Caldo. Five, eight, six, seven, five, eight, six, seven, unofficially in race two. Favorite haunt, seventh start gets him to the winner's circle, a three-year-old of Big Elding by Ghost Zapper out of the Hard Spun Mare. Desert Rendezvous by Christina Eslanco along with Margo Scott. Richard Eslanco is the winning uh, trainer and the winning jockey is Sunny Leo. It was bred in Kentucky by Godolphin. Second race is official, 5867. Top four finishers, 10 cents super back to $2.80. Dollar super, $28.04. 58 exact to $20.96. Straight back to $11.20. Two five early double, $20.99. Tonight's third race will start our 20 cent single six a jackpot. That carryover better than $23,000. $23,121.27. Tonight's third race, four, five, and 11 all scratch. Sergeant Barger, Knack Knack Bolt, and Magna Ruler. Four, five, and 11 out of the third. And there they go. Very slow start for the favorite Gamer. Gamer comes away at last. Golden Rain begins the best. And right there with him from the outside is Gunrush. Faithful King comes away in third. Then comedic timing, Nicholas Jones. Right off Jerry is the gray. English challenge, third last. Patty's house, second last. And the favorite gamer was off to that slow start. He is the last of all through the early stages. Golden Rain has pace pressure from Gun Rush and Faithful King gets away from the inside, stocking in the clear. And look at the trip for comedic timing. He gets to the rail before the backstretch run, and he's three lengths off the lead, patiently handled. Right off Jerry with an eager move in the clear, three deep. Three lengths to Nicholas Jones, six lengths from the front. Gamer is committed to try to make up as much ground in a hurry as he can. Towards the tail of the field, Patty's house and English challenge. 24 and one fifth, 48 seconds the half. Golden raid and gun rush and right off Jerry. And Faithful King has the fourth position. Comedic timing from the inside. He's under a drive, not really responding to this point. Gamer heads him. Gamer tries to advance in and overcome all of this trouble. And look at Gamer. Never underestimate a sharp equine. He's as sharp as they all are. And he's swinging into the lane, making a big bid. In the meantime, Comedic Timing tries to quicken on through along and opening along the inside. It still is Golden Rain. Gamer's trying to come over the top to the far outside. How can he win with all this trouble? It still is Golden Rain. Gamer living up to his name, trying to wear him down. Here comes Gamer to the outside. How game was Gamer. Tagging Golden Rain on the line. After that English challenge, right off Jerry and comedic timing. What a race from Gamer. Never underestimate a sharp equine. Gamer with all sorts of trouble. Had to commit to an early bid. Had to commit to a wide run through the turn. What a strong desire to succeed from Gamer. The unofficial winner, tagging six, Golden Rain, Golden Rain on the line. Third place, nine, English Challenge. A photo for the balance, 137 and 4100 is the final time.
In the winner's circle is number seven, a gamer. Very sharp individual these days. Give him three in a row. This is for the new connections. Do you know the way to San Jose? Gamer does a five-year-old bag gelding by Twirling Candy. Out of the Bellamy Road Mare. Back Road Bellamy, owned by San Jose Racing Stable LLC. Winning trainer is Hugo Andrade. And the winning jockey, the Axeman, Luan Machado. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Pope McLean, Mark McLean, and Pope McLean Jr. 7-6 exact of $47, 12 cents. 7 6 9 trifecta, I'll get back to that payoff. 10 cents, super $87, 96 cents. Dollar super $879, 66 cents. 257, early pick three, $46, 57 cents. Here's that trifecta, $69, 10 cents. 5 7 double, $15, 48 cents. Two, two hearted, two pounds over, three tamborella, one pound over the weight, five yari de top, two pounds over, four three starts our late pick five, 23 minutes away at 725. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Secret Glenda with a sharp start. Tamborella quickly into stride. Lily's home is forwardly positioned. And here comes one punching on through Agori. Agori now puts her white blinkers in front. And Secret Glenda's in the second spot. Tamborella third covering two hearted. Lily's home runs with them in the clear from the outside. Black Silks about three lengths off the pace. Two clear of Miss Savellia, five lengths from the front. Two clear of Video Princess. Extra sauce well done to her outside. Yari de Tot is the last of nine. 22 seconds at opening quarter at the 3 8. And with the lead, it is Agori. Secret Glenda's making her bid for the top spot. Here comes Lily's Home now beginning to close in from third, getting within a length and a half as they race to the quarter pole. Along the inside is Two Hearted. Tamborella goes with her. Video Princess and Miss Savellia after them races. From the back of the pack there, extra sauce well done in Yari de Tot. Secret Glenda has come away with the lead. Lily's home continues to pursue. Video Princess is trying to gain ground from third. And to the far outside is Yari de Tot. Secret Glenda trying to get to the wire in time. Plenty of pursuers. Secret Glenda will hang on. Look at Yari de Tot jumping out of the ground up for second. Then Lily's home. Video Princess settling for fourth to complete the Superfecta. Nice tracking trip throughout from a Secret and Glenda. The favorite at 5-2. to two. One of the long shots, Agori, established the early lead, but Secret Glenda was right there applying pressure throughout. 110 and 98, 100 the final time. Plenty of pursuers. Yari to Tot really closing a lot of ground from the depths of nowhere. Secret Glenda, the 5-2 to two favorite. Getting to the wire in time. Second place five, Yari de Tot, who made up significant ground. Eight, Lily's home up close from third. Then one, Video Princess. Six, five, eight, one unofficially in tonight's four. Secret Glenda's in the winner's circle. Big class drop for this three-year-old chestnut filly by midshipman out of the Twin Spires Mare Girl Secrets. Owned by Paul King, winning at trainers Aaron West, winning jockey Fernando de la Cruz. When it was bred in Kentucky by David Blue. Exact of $34.36. Trifecta $40.87. A 7-6 daily double, $17.95. 10 cent super, $21.14. Dollar superfecta, $211.44. 5-7-6 pick three, $25.45. Fifth race will start our late pick four, scratch number eight under advisement. Overweights for the following. At number five, Rabakana, one pound over. Six, Bourbon Thief, four pounds over the weight. Nine, Zans of War, two pounds over. Fifth race, 21 minutes away. Starting our late pick four. 7.55 is the post time. Heavenly Rich a little anxious. And there they go. Heavenly Rich anxious to leave her respective stall. Sands of War just a little quicker to her immediate inside. Here's Baja with plenty of early foot from the rail. Baja making the pace. Sands of War's in the second spot, and Heavenly Rich is stalking in the clear. Big Dig makes a move into the third spot. Heavenly Rich back to fourth. 
Bourbon Thief is a little less than four lengths off the lead. Noah Lani to her outside. About three lengths back to Joyful Warrior Princess and County Fair. County Fair is a good six and a half or seven from her stable mate. That's another two lengths to Mo Devine. Similar margin to Rybakina and Janie Creed is the last of 11 three and four year old fillies. And they race up the backstretch run. Baja with the lead from Big Dig. And Zanz of War is forwardly positioned in the clear. Only two lengths from the front. About four lengths to Heavenly Rich. Bourbon Thief from her inside. Noah Lani's being pushed on. County Fair tries to pick up her stride from the outside. Still seven from her stable mate. Mo Devine is progressing. Mo Devine, somewhat of a tight spot for her. Her momentum has been stalled just a bit past the three eights. And then we go to Janie Creed, who's beginning to close in. Janie Creed has a good-looking stride, and she is making up significant ground from the far outside. She's striding into the sixth spot, and she's six lengths off the lead, and she continues her run. That's Baja and Big Dig. Sands of War's all in. Janie Creed continues to make up a ton of ground to the far outside. Janie Creed trying to quicken in outside of County Fair. Mo Devine finally has room, and she's a late player. Mo Devine and Janie Creed. Janie Creed and Mo Devine from between runners. Urban Thief diving on him late. Big Dig still sticking in there. It's going to be Janie Creed. Janie Creed with that big run. Heck of an effort from Mo Divine. Then Big Dig, Bourbon Thief, and County Fair. I have absolutely loved calling these maiden special weight races here at Turfway Park. How about this one? Janie Creed. She was last early, but you could tell past the 3 8, she was really going to be a player. What about the treble trip from Mo Devine? She had momentum and it was all stalled. She was extra good this evening at 19 to 1. Janie Creed and Mo Devine giving us a thriller. 137 and 90, 100s to Janie Creed first. Second place, 11, Mo Devine. Third place, 4, Big Dig. Fourth place, 6, Bourbon Thief. Kindly retain all mutual tickets until results have been declared official. Janie Creed, last to first here in tonight's fifth three-year-old chestnut filly by Jimmy Creed out of the Broken Bow Mare, Broken Marriage. Pat Thompson is the winning owner, winning trainer, Myron Hughes, winning jockey, Abel Zadio. It was bred in Kentucky by owner Pat Thompson. Early pick four, $369.22. cents. Ten cent super, $483.04. cents. Dollar super, $4,830.40. 211 exact at $253.04. 211 four trifecta, $277.74. 62 double, $49.98. Seven six two, a pick three, one hundred dollars thirty nine cents. Early pick five, twenty two hundred sixty one dollars fifty two cents. Four out of five, twenty three dollars ninety three cents. Race six, scratch five nine and ten. Hot heels, priceless picture, and Harvey's princess. 5, 9, and 10, all scratch from the 6th. 23 minutes away, it starts our late pick 3, 825 is the post time. And there they go, slow start, Keller Crush. Kick can run, squeeze shortly after the start, she's second last. Up at arms begins the best, Mamita Linda's up close with compressed energy, and Nighttime Justice has the fourth spot. Then I like them on a tour from the inside. The filly of free time is to her outside in the uh, two path. And after free time, Color Crush and Kit Can Run now at the back marker. Mamita Linda up to the front, clearing away two and a half lengths from up in arms. Compressed energy, five lengths off the pace, entering the back stretch. About a length and a half to nighttime justice, almost a length or so back to on a tour. I like him from the far outside, free time from the inside, third last. Color Crush second last, and Kit Can Run is the last of all. Mamita Linda has put plenty space between her and her rivals. She opens up nearly eight lengths. Here's compressed energy into the second spot. And chasing from third is up in arms. And along the inside is on a tour. On a tour tries to quicken in from the rail. She'll have to overcome some traffic a little bit heading into the third. Nighttime Justice, one from the outside. I like them as four deep. After that, Color Crush. Looks like she'll be five wide heading into the third. Color Crush is gathering momentum. Here comes Color Crush to the outside, and Kick Can Runs trying to close along the inside. 
Mamita Linda comes back to them all. Compressed Energy, Nighttime Justice, Color Crush and I Like Him are trying to close in. Kit Can Run decides to go away from the rail. Now she's going back to the inside. What's Kit Can Run going to do? She finds a seam in the two path. Might have wasted energy. On the lead on a tour, Kit Can Run. Far outside, free time. On a tour, Kit Can Run up the inside. On a tour. Kit Can Run second. Free time third. Then I like them. Um, At nighttime justice. Number one on a tour, the five to two favorite. Utilizing a ground saving journey. She had to deal with some traffic heading into that far turn run. Once she found room, she's able to get to the wire. Six kit can run. Mando de la Cruz a little indecisive in which path he wanted to pursue. Eventually going back to the inside. Eight free time third. Fourth place 11. I like them. 168 11, 145 and 13 100. the final time from tonight's sixth. And the winner's circle is number one on a tour. Six year old Bay Mare by Tourist out of the Go Zapper Mare of Wraith. Owned and trained by Joe Sharp, winning jockey Axel Concepcion. Winner was Brendan Ontario by Gary Barber. Exact at $38.26. Trifecta $159.61. A 2 1 double, $66.15. 10 cent super, $189.49. Dollar superfecta, $1,894.96. 6 2 1 pick, three, $98.24. Tonight's seventh race will begin our late daily double. Scratch 10 Jaybird, 22 minutes away. 8.55 is the scheduled post time. And there they go. Storm Daddy and Peruvian Lucky quickly into stride from the far outside. English Tide and Royal Vicky also quickly away. And it's English Tide and Royal Vicky. English Tide making the pace. Royal Vicky is into the second spot. Here's Rarified Flare third with PK Wood. Storm Daddy was hustled out of the gate. Fifth is the best he can manage through the early stages. And Peruvian Lucky slips to his inside. Blue Northers the gray from the rail. Yellow Silks with the white cap. A good five and a half or so off the lead. About a length and a half back to Liam the Brave. And at the tail of the field, late running, Mr. Peterkin. English tie, three parts of a length to Royal Vicky. And PK, PK Woods chasing them from third. And Peruvian Lucky inches a little closer up the inside. Rarified flares on hold from the rail. He's about three lengths off the lead. Blue Norther tries to advance. Likewise for Storm Daddy with his wide journey. Liam the Brave has more than five lengths to make up heading into the far turn run. Mr. Peterkin's at the back. In the meantime, Rarified Flair is all the way back to second last. He seems to be going in the wrong direction, at least to this point. Storm Daddy trying to overcome this wide journey. Storm Daddy's up to the front. Now closing in is Liam the Brave. Storm Daddy, Liam the Brave. PK Woods back to third, then Peruvian Lucky and English Tide. Mr. Peterkin from the far outside closing in. It is Storm Daddy who has the lead past the eighth pole. Peruvian Lucky begins to charge up the inside. Storm Daddy looks like he's tending to his business. Storm Daddy's clear in deep stretch, and Storm Daddy is the winner. Liam the Brave second, then Peruvian Lucky. Mr. Peterkin fourth for that superfecta. Storm Daddy at five to one. Andres Ulloa with a pretty patient ride. He tried to get this horse involved out of the starting gate, but he recognized his outside post wasn't going to get him near the lead. A few horses from the inside were all hustled. One, two, three, and four all hustled away. So Storm Daddy decided to set up shop from that fifth spot through the clubhouse run. Despite having to cover more ground than others, it is Storm Daddy, the unofficial winner. 136 and 68 one hundredths in the final time. This racetrack has sped up the last couple of evenings. In the winner's circle is number eight, Storm Daddy. Four-year-old Dark Bear Brown Gelding by Mendelssohn out of the Candy Ride Mare, Storm Star. Owned by Esteban Gordillo Ramirez, Normando Jimenez, and Maria Alejandro, along with Bravo Parada. Perhaps that is Maria Alejandro Bravo Parada. Winning trainer is Lilia Gonzalez. The winning jockey is Andres Ulloa. 
And the seventh is official, 8597. That exact at $57.86. Trifecta, $79.64. One eight late daily or one eight double, $30.72. Ten cent super, $72.84. Dollar super, $728.40. Two one eight pick three, $178.05. Race eight, the nightcap. Two revenge tour, one pound over. Ten, the rush is on. Four pounds over the weight. Scratch 13, Shannon run. Off the also eligible list. Super high five carry over $23,618 at one cent, 23 minutes away at 925. Standing room only for the Thursday night kid. And there they go. Swift start, revenge tour, and red cheeks. Liam's lad is forwardly positioned with Vino Fidenz and lead actor. Secession is asked for speed from the far outside, and he's into the third spot, and he's making a move into second. It's Revenge Tour and Secession. Liam's lad third. Red Cheeks is in the fourth spot. In my dreams, three deep. Lead actor from between runners. Vino Fidenza runs with them from the rail. That group of three are about five lengths from the pace. Two and a half back to Secret Edge and Egyptian King. Almost two lengths, American Raider. About five to the rushes on and Quarre de Oros, the last of 12. And Secession was hustled out from that far outside. One of the outside posts, he has made the lead from Revenge Tour. Liam's Lad and Red Cheeks are a little shy of two and a half off the pacemaker. Nearly five lengths to Egyptian King, who advances into the fifth spot with momentum heading into the turn. Vino Fidanza tries to quicken with him. They get away from lead actor and In My Dreams. American Raider is eight or nine lengths off the pace, then Secret Edge, and there's a couple far out of it. Quarre de Oro, and the rush is on. Secession has come away with the lead. Secession has the lead. Here comes Liam's lad. Red Cheeks is all in. Vino Fidenza is trying to spring an upset. Here's American Raider taking off to the far outside, but Liam's lad has beat him to the punch. Liam's lad, the one to overhaul past the eighth pole. American Raider's going to make a move into second, but it's Liam's Lad with the lead. American Raider is closing, but Liam's Lad beat him to the punch, and he'll go to the winner's circle. Liam's Lad in the nightcap from American Raider. Vino Fidanza, secession checked in fourth. I believe it's Red Cheeks for the super high five. Number three, Liam's Lad is the unofficial winner of the nightcap, 138 and 7 100. He'll have his number posted momentarily. Beat American Raider to the punch. And it propels him to a trip to the winner's circle. 10 to 1 on the morning line. Bet down to 7 to 2. 7 American Raider second. Or Vino Fidenza. Forget about it. At 52 to 1, he's up for third. Fourth place, 11 secession. Photo required for fifth to complete a super high five. Make sure to hold all tickets until results have been declared official. Slad. Four year old Bay Gelding by Liam's Map out of the elusive quality mare, Bonjour Belle. Owned by Shelta Wee Farm. Michael Evans II is the winning of trader, winning jockey Yar Marie Correa. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Tim Thornton along with Jessica Rogers. We'll have a pick six carryover into Friday's Alive, more than $24,000. 37 exact at $92.88. Play pick for $973.08. 10 cent super, $905.76. Dollar super effective, $9,057.64. There's the pick six carry over $24,653.86. One eight three late pick three seventy nine dollars thirty cents. Super high five is continually growing. Forty two thousand six hundred sixty one dollars and ninety two cents. Might be the biggest super high five carryover I've seen this year. Here at Turfway Park. All right, the trifecta seven hundred forty dollars fifty five cents. Eight three late daily double eighty one dollars twenty five cents. Pick six was worth $6,896.66.
Light pick five, twenty-eight hundred seven dollars fifty-seven cents. Four out of five is good for thirty-three dollars forty-five cents. So a couple of sweet carryovers into the Friday's Alive card. Nearly twenty-five thousand for the twenty-cent single six to jackpot. Nearly forty-three thousand dollars for that super high five. Five fifty-five tomorrow. Friday's Alive right here at Turfway Park racing and gaming sure hope you had a great thursday night of racing and leaving the track please drive very carefully this has been racing from turfway park racing and gaming good night everybody.